Here it is. It's an Easter shirt. Jesus is on the shirt. Guess who's back? Back again. Little pop culture reference there. Okay. And it's a reference, of course, to the resurrection. All right. So the question is, with, with this topic, is this pop culture relevant or is it too irreverent? And I made the decision, you can see after I tweeted it out, um, I made the decision after thinking about it, eh, there's enough of a gray area there that I backed off. Each, what are each of your thoughts? I think you did the right thing. You Guess did. who's back, back again. Uh, what is that a reference to? Is that Terminator or... What, what did you say that was? That's a song. That's a song? It's a song lyric. Guess who's back? Back again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, I, the sunglasses, the overall image, what, what is the purpose? What purpose does it serve? I, I'm, not, I'm not quite clear on that. I, I, what, what purpose... Does it does it serve? I didn't even at all? think about the sunglasses. Uh, so but, yeah, the, the sunglasses are kind of what does it for me. I guess the sunglasses some, could look the other way. Hey, like a boss, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But Jesus doesn't need to be made to look like a boss because he is one. Uh, that's that's my that's my point. We you don't you don't need that for for Jesus Christ. There's also the element. I, I saw a few comments too about uh, making a graven image. Um, I, I'm just again. Jesus is not a t-shirt. Jesus is not uh, a catchy phrase. Jesus is not a guy, a boss who just wears sunglasses. Jesus isn't even a badass. He's the king of kings and lord of lords. And I just think kind of a la that he gets us stuff. They're taking, this shirt is taking Christ's name in vain by not showing you the totality of what he is, what he did, what he is doing, and what he will do. And so because of that, I, I do think it's reducing him down to a clever little t-shirt. Uh, I just, I tapped out. I saw that posted. I just kind of kept scrolling by. But when you sent that over, I th thought about it, kind of similar to you. And yeah, I, I think you made the right decision to pass on that. Okay, can I ask you a follow-up question? Sure. The, the, the graven image thing, okay? That's an interesting, uh, it's an interesting uh, I'm not even exercise sure I... of how far to apply it. Yeah. So, would, you know, um, in the early years of cinema, they would not actually show Jesus on film. You would, you, you'd see a figure, but you wouldn't see an actor, anybody playing him because they they thought that that applied that was it would, would violate that commandment so is any depiction of christ a violation of that commandment in your view i i'm not sure i i think it's so like would the I, passion be see, a violation what is the motivation of depicting christ in any so the motivation here is to put him on a t-shirt mm -hmm. the motivation in the passion was to show and shove down your throat what our savior went through on the cross right his mm -hmm. work, his life and work. So I, I think there are going to be a lot of hardliners probably in our audience who says, no, things like The Chosen, definitely no. Maybe even The Passion, definitely no. This T-shirt, of course, no. I'm, I'm not sure it goes necessarily that far. Uh, but this one, I'm, I, I just think you have to, I think you have to judge the motivation. Um, of of the work and its execution as well. So you, in the case of the passion, that is a work to elevate and exalt Correct. Christ's lordship. In this Correct. case, it's, this is an act of reductionism. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay, I get that. Todd, what do you think? Until I know whose feet the person <laughs> wearing this t-shirt will wash, I reserve judgment. <laughs> So I take it then you're a no on the shirt. Uh, actually, well, on this specific shirt, like if I had come into work wearing that shirt at some point this month, your thoughts would have been what? See, I know you, you wear all kinds of shirts that like. Generally, though, I'm used to you being an idiot. Dude, I'm used to you we, dressing like a fool. Do we even? So pay really, it? it would not have. I, I, I would not have even blushed. Well, as a matter of fact, we wouldn't have said anything because we don't really pay attention to what we're wearing. That's the dude code answer there. Yes. Anyway, Todd, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, the, there's. See, it's 
it's not just about a t-shirt per se. Like this particular message, the way it's conveyed does nothing for me like uh, as a possible impact moment, conversation starter. Like here, I have the t-shirt. I opened it up out of the blue one day in the mail. My sister sent it to me. I've worn it on this show before. Uh, and heck, I'm not, like, I like the superhero movies, but like that's way more Steve genre. But, like I, my sister sent it to me. It's the, it's both the Marvel and the DC universe big three sitting there with Jesus. And there's a th thought bubble above Jesus' head. He says, and that's how I saved the world. I'm like, I love it and if you're walking around in this culture in that t-shirt and we know the quality of the production of a lot of this until relatively recently these superhero movies and how they say things about heroism and there's no greater love than this someone who they lay down their life for his friends mm -hmm. and they found this through superhero movies and here all these superheroes are looking like longingly at the lord like so it's not about can you can you possibly pull that off on a t-shirt? It's pulled off for me. I think you'd wear that t-shirt and yeah, but I I would also say that that shirt is exaltation of his lordship. Yeah, cuz well, I yeah. think this I've is seen my that. point. Isn't well, he yeah. aren't the superheroes kneeling before him? They're not kneeling, but they're sitting there and cl they're clearly in awe of him. So my yeah. point is like what what can like you Like who's the real superhero here? What yeah. can yeah. Yeah. what conceivably can you pull off? What through this shirt and a and b the one wearing it are you willing to pull that off like a lot of people put in this shirt on I, I, what conversations are you willing to have mm -hmm. what conversations are you capable of having that's important if you're going to put on this or any other shirt so i i don't think so i guess the larger point of like is any shirt because there's a lot of you know there's a lot of kitschy even like there's a lot of kids like the crucified lord bleeding out of everything but like muscle bro shirt. have you seen these things that are like that. i'm like okay maybe this has some meaning for you individually but you put it on what other people are, are seeing, you exalting yourself that's what yeah that's what we got to think about when we put on that shirt i know what, what jesus I'm, putting his his hand resting his hand on the shoulder of your favorite politician <laughs> I know what you, <laughs> <laughs> now give me some credit where 16 minutes into this segment I finally just mentioned it. All right, the level of oh, restraint that I showed by not referencing that abomination. Oh my goodness. Give me some credit. Anyway, uh, I digress. The Back to the original. Stick on the original. Stay, stay on target. Back to the original shirt. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Todd. I just don't. This, this shirt seems pretty at best. Midwit. Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe harmless. All right, so what you're telling me then is even if you're not necessarily at the level of hermeneutic on the shirt that Aaron is, the juice then isn't worth the squeeze. Yeah, that it that's doesn't, a good way that, that it that. doesn't make enough of a profound point that it's worth the risk of, of, of you know, of brandishing it, basically. Todd, what is the Catholic teaching on uh, graven image? Because even a, a number, I'm sure, a number of evangelicals, maybe I'm wrong, Steve, but a number of evangelicals would say the crucifix would be a graven image. Am I wrong? I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, I, are we... That's why we have an empty... In Protestant churches, generally, it's an empty cross. Catholic churches, yeah. there's the crucifix. That's a good well, point. Yeah. I mean, beyond, well, that's... I was going to say, that's the difference. Beyond that, we share the same teaching, which... You know, and, and there's just a fork in the road, I guess. Um, hmm. so, wait, well, which is interesting. I wasn't even thinking about it from that perspective because I don't, is this, is this wrong for, in my, de my default, if I see like dude bro lifting shirt or something like it, if I almost I almost default to thinking that must be an evangelical Protestant if they're wearing a like a an empty cross a, a, like a bleeding suffering Lord no not an empty cross okay. a bleeding suffering Lord shirt because Catholics are like 
most Catholics are probably way too suburban uptight to pull that off. I think of just like an edgy, born again Christian motorcycle dude wearing. But that's a great. Is that not a? Is that not an image? Yeah. And that's a, that's the whole argument. Is any depiction, is any imagery of Christ at all, a violation no, no. of the commandment? And my guess is there's a complete Venn diagram of the people who would say yes, who think that celebrating Easter and Christmas with pagan origins are wrong. My guess is that the, 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 the crossover there of those two camps, probably pretty high earned. Yeah. Yeah. I so now guess. here's what's weird. Well, all of us kind of agreed it, that, yeah, sure. Kind of empty. Not much there. And look, look where it just took us though on I this know. conversation. So I this know, is, I thought, the, and I thought it might, that's why I thought it'd be yeah. an interesting conversation.